Hello, it's Romy, and you're a new camera. Um, I'm just going to show you, first of all, if anybody else is watching this, this is for uh, my friend, so it, you won't really make, it won't really make any sense to you, but I guess it's a how-to on how to use this Apptech camcorder, so if you have one too, then it's good for you. Um, what it comes with, or what I'm giving you with it, is a, let me get this stuff really quick, is an importer, which goes into the cam, into the um, TV. So I'm just going to show you how to do that really quick. There's a little button, there's a little hole, you just put this end, pop that one in, and if you come around here, it's color, it's all, it's color coded, so you just hook it up to the back of any cam, which is, on my TV, red, white, and yellow. Okay. With your remote, turn it on, and it's on input. You want to put input till you get to input 2 is the right one. Then we can get a close up on the, if you can, yeah. You plug it up and then you turn it up. And then it goes straight over here and it says, here let me grab this and I'll show you. If you guys can see. It says earphone, and then the bottom one says TV out. So you go to TV, you scroll down with these jogs, go to TV out, and then there's a little OK button right under the arrows. Press it, and it goes straight up to the TV. So now you have it on the TV. Um, you can record videos. Uh, the memory's full, so it won't actually take anything. See, it says memory full, because... Um, the uh, memory card isn't in here, so it can only hold like four things right now. Um, but for video, it says video, and then the gre that green light will flash on, that little thing. Uh, and then if it's a picture, there's a picture button right there, and you just click it. Um, one other thing, there's a little fla there's a little light, which I won't beam into the camera. But that's turned on right there. And that gives you light in a lower light room over here. So that's the uh, the features on the camera. If you you can actually just film the screen because um, here, if you come around here. You can just film. Yeah, just the screen. Um, you go, you use this little button over. Sorry, I just kind of. If you use, there's a button over here, it's right under the OK button, which is under the two arrows, and it's kind of oval shaped, and it said, and it says mode slash, and then like a s arrow, and you press that, and that's, and then when you press it, it comes to the screen. Um, camera, that goes straight to the camera over here. You press that again, and then playback. That's where you can see all of your stuff. Uh, this is the picture, these are some pictures I took. And so, and then an audio. You're gonna hear your audio and your video all over here. Um, if you look back at the screen, there's an MP3 player which you just plug up to your um, computer, and which I'll show you how to do, and just put drag music onto it. Voice, press it, and pre by pressing the video button, it's going to um, record your voice, which can go as long as you like. Settings is basically just um, choosing how bright you want the LCD on, the USB mode, which is pretty much all set up for you, so you don't have to really worry about any settings. Um, now I'm going to show you how to put up, if you come back to me, how to put up, so then you just, how to turn it off, you just shut it closed, take it out, and, oh, and before you shut it off, actually, um, if you close it while it's still on and push it back, the green, a green light's going to pop up. I already switched it off. Um, so you're going to, like, let's say if I do this and it's on and I close it, um, 
Sometimes that works and sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes if you close it, the green light will be still be on once closing it. Um, so you want to flip it back open and press this menu button, this uh, ovally button, and then close it and then it's off. Um, so now, let me turn my TV back to normal and switch it off. Now onto the computer. Um, with the importer that I gave you, you're going to just flip open this, which, by the way, has the importer, nah, the um, USB slot, and the memory card. So that's what it has over here. Um, so you're just going to push it in, and then you're going to put, and don't open it up yet, and then you're going to push it into the side, into your USB slot, right there. Then you're just going to get out of whatever you have open, which is a bunch of camera info. You've got this, and then you flip it open, and it, the screen will stay black. It'll turn on, and then it'll go black, and then it'll make that noise. And then my, my computer, and then this will pop up. You double-click that little camera that you see. I'm not sure how it's going to be on your computer, but you double-click it. Import pictures is what it should say. It'll come down here and it'll read the thing and then you're going to tag it as whatever you want. So type in blah, blah, blah if you want. Press import and it imports quickly. Within three seconds. And then it pops up in about five, four, three, two. And then it pops up and then you have everything here. Uh, then you type in whatever you tagged it as, which I tagged it as blah, blah, blah. So then it, here it is. And now you have all your pictures. Um...